Coventry City, baby. I've been eager to create this video ever since the FA Cup semifinals last year. Coventry City's remarkable performance against Manchester United showcased their ability to compete at the highest level, nearly toppling one of the world's largest clubs. While United managed a narrow victory, Coventry's display was nothing short of impressive, especially considering the vast difference in financial resources between the two sides. Coventry's achievement is a testament to their skill, determination, and potential. Despite a slow start to the current season, this championship side has proven they can punch above their weight and contend with some of the most expensive clubs in the world. Their ability to challenge top-tier opponents suggests that promotion to the Premier League could be on the horizon sooner than many might expect. In this video, we'll delve into Coventry City's rich history, celebrate their recent successes, and explore what the future might hold for this promising club. If you enjoy coming together with friends to roleplay as wizards, why not join our community of 608 magical bucks? and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. Coventry City Football Club has a rich and storied history that spans well over a century, filled with highs, lows, and moments of triumph. The club was founded in 1883 as Singers FC, the result of a meeting between workers from the Singer Cycle Company at the Lord Aylesford Inn in Hillfields. Originally linked to Coventry's booming bicycle industry, George Singer, the founder of the company, served as the club's first president. In their early years, Singers joined the Birmingham County Football Association in 1884, playing their games at Dowell's Field. Like many clubs of the time, they struggled with inconsistent playing staff and even lacked basic equipment such as goal nets. However, the move to the larger Stoke Road ground in 1887 marked a turning point as they began charging an entrance fee and won back-to-back -back Birmingham Junior Cups in 1891 and 1892. Singers turned professional in 1892 and joined the Birmingham and District League by 1894, competing against well-established regional clubs. As their fan base grew, the club rebranded as Coventry City in 1898. They soon moved to Highfield Road in 1899, but financial woes plagued the club leading to frequent struggles on the pitch. They narrowly avoided relegation several times, but it wasn't until 1908, when they joined the Southern League, that they began to show promise. Their FA Cup quarterfinal run in 1910 included victories over top sides like Preston and Nottingham Forest, was a significant achievement. However, financial difficulties continued to haunt them, culminating in their relegation in 1914. Coventry joined the Football League in 1919, entering the second division. They narrowly avoided finishing last that season, though it later emerged that their crucial victory against Bury was rigged, resulting in a heavy fine in 1923. Despite constant relegation battles throughout the 1920s, the club began to turn a corner with appointment of Harry Storer as manager in 1931. Coventry earned the nickname The Old Five due to their prolific goal scoring, often netting five or more goals per match. This exciting brand of football saw them promoted to the second division as third division North champions in 1936. The late 1930s saw Coventry solidify their status as a strong second tier club, even as World War II interrupted their progress. Many believe the outbreak of the war robbed them of an imminent promotion to the first division. After the war, Coventry experienced mixed fortunes, but the appointment of Jimmy Hill as manager in 1961 ushered in a new era known as the Sky Blue Revolution. Hill transformed the club's identity, introducing new kit colors, pre-match entertainment, and even the iconic Sky Blue song. Under his leadership, Coventry rose through the divisions, winning the third division title in 1964 and the second division in 1967 securing their first ever promotion to the top flight. Coventry reached their highest league finish in 1970 under Noel Cantwell, placing sixth in the first division and earning a place in the Intercities Fairs Cup. Despite financial challenges and sale of top players throughout the 1970s, Coventry managed to survive several relegation battles. 
One of the club's most iconic moments came in 1987, when Coventry reached the FA Cup final under the managerial duo of George Curtis and John Sillett. In what is remembered as one of the greatest FA Cup finals, Coventry triumphed 3-2 over Tottenham Hotspur at Wembley, securing their first, and to date, only major trophy. Coventry became one of the founding members of the Premier League in 1992. Under managers Ron Atkinson and Gordon Strachan, the club signed several high-profile players, including Dion Dublin and Robbie Keane. However, financial mismanagement and rising debts ultimately led to relegation in 2001, ending Coventry's 34-year stay in the top flight. The early 2000s were a turbulent time for Coventry. They were forced to sell Highfield Road and move to the Rico Arena in 2005. Yet financial woes persisted and ownership changes compounded their difficulties. By 2012, they had dropped to League One, and a rent dispute saw them ground share with Northampton Town for over a year. Probably the lowest point in Coventry City's history was on Easter Monday in 2018. When Coventry City played host to Yeovil Town, Coventry sat sixth in League Two, the fourth tier of English football, 12 points adrift of league leaders Accrington Stanley. They were holding on to a playoff spot but their place in the top seven was far from secure. Just a few days earlier, they managed only a 1-1 draw away at Newport County. This was the company Coventry found themselves keeping. Yeovil Town, meanwhile, were 18th, a side punching above their weight just by maintaining their place in the Football League. For Coventry, however, it was another story entirely. The dwindling crowd of 8,787 expected a routine home victory, but by halftime, Coventry found themselves in a shock. Despite a spirited second half fight back that saw Coventry score twice, Yeovil extended their lead with three more goals of their own. When the final whistle blew on a devastating 6-2 defeat, the thought of Coventry returning to the Premier League felt like a distant, almost impossible dream. Six weeks after that humbling 6-2 loss to Yeovil in 2018, Coventry City had staged a remarkable recovery. They edged past Notts County in the League 2 playoffs, earning a place in the final at Wembley against Exeter City. Goals from Jordan Willis, Jordan Shipley, and Jack Grimmer powered Coventry to a 3-1 victory, securing promotion back to League 1. The win solidified manager Mark Robbins' control over the club's future, giving him the authority to shape its direction. From then on, Luton and Coventry sort of mirrored one another. While Luton had just escaped non-league football, both clubs found themselves on a similarly upward trajectory, being promoted from League Two together in 2018, then being promoted to the championship a year apart. Both clubs saw themselves climb the championship table in unison culminating in a remarkable 2022-23 campaign. That season, though it began with Coventry languishing at the bottom of the championship table in October, turned into one of resilience and eventual triumph. Robin's ability to navigate through those difficult months where many other managers might have lost their position highlighted his leadership and tactical acumen. By early February, Coventry had clawed their way out of the relegation zone, sitting in 15th place. Although they were still far from the top, the seeds of a miraculous run had already been planted. Coventry's steady climb was aided by a shift in ownership, with new leadership allowing a renewed focus on long-term stability and ambition. Robbins had often spoken of a five-year plan aimed at slowly rebuilding the club, but Coventry's progress far exceeded expectations. The changes both on and off the field accelerated their rise, placing them ahead of schedule in their quest to return to the top flight. When Coventry found themselves facing Luton Town in the playoff final, they were not considered favorites. Both teams had been in League Two just five years prior, yet now they were on the brink of Premier League football. The mere fact that Coventry were in the playoff final with the chance to return to the Premier League was in itself a testament to the incredible work that had been done over the past six years. Well, we know what happens at this point. Where the final meeting of these two clubs who battled through so much to get to the top ended. Luton Town defeated Coventry City at Wembley to earn promotion to the Premier League. The 2023-24 season started slowly, 
Once again, Coventry City's campaign began with a challenging start. With just one win in their first eight league matches and three in the opening 16, the Sky Blues found themselves on the back foot early in the season. This slow beginning placed them in a tough position as they sought to regain their form and climb the table. The club faced substantial challenges, including the departures of star players like Victor Giocaris and Gustavo Hammer, along with the return of five key loan players to their parent clubs. Additionally, the reduced investments from previous owners, Sisu, meant the squad lacked the resources of seasons past. After nine months of competition and 46 hard-fought matches, Coventry City finished the 23-24 season in ninth place, accumulating 64 points. Coventry's final points tally fell six short of the previous season's 70 points, which itself would not have been enough to quench a playoff spot this time around. However, considering the squad's overall last summer, their performance was commendable. Finishing just three wins and a draw away from Norwich in sixth, they came close to challenging for the playoffs. Many fans had expected a season of consolidation after the player turnover, but the fact that City remained in contention until the final stretch is a testament to the potential of this new and exciting group of players. It left supporters hopeful for the future, believing that this squad could build on its progress in the coming seasons. I want to point out that although there was no challenge for promotion, Coventry did challenge for the FA Cup. As I said at the top, they pushed eventual champions Manchester United to penalties in the semifinals and, to be fair, were probably a couple of bad calls away from going on to the finals. Now, would they have beaten City in the finals? We never know. But that showing from a club whose payroll is dramatically less than United's was amazing. United's players also showed they lacked class while weirdly bragging and celebrating at the expense of Coventry. But to me, this performance is a sign of what Coventry should be able to do going forward. Now, I would like to say the 24-25 season has started off differently from the last, but in truth, Coventry are sitting on two wins and two draws through nine matches. While it's still really early in the campaign, it's not the dream start Coventry would have wanted if they were to vie for promotion. I think regardless, Coventry have the makeup to contend for promotion, and although it is going to be difficult, I would love to see them have that final tip of the cap Luton got to have. Coventry City's journey is a testament to resilience, determination, and the power of belief. From the depths of League 2 to challenging for Premier League promotion, the Sky Blues have shown that with strong leadership, passionate support, and talented players, anything is possible. As they continue to build and improve, there's a palpable sense of excitement surrounding this club. The Sky Blues have proven they can compete with the best, and it feels like only a matter of time before they make their long-awaited return to the Premier League. For the fans who have stood by the club through thick and thin, the future looks brighter than ever. Coventry City's story is far from over. In fact, the most thrilling chapters may be yet to come.